Hi everyone, welcome. It's Lonnie with Grace Blossoms for You. And I'm filming this right after the last video that I posted because I had some more ideas come into my head and I wanted to see what would happen if I took those prompts. So I was thinking of this ripped up cardboard. This is Amazon packaging. I find that the cheaper, because they put less material in their packaging now. So I'm finding it comes apart more easily, which is handy for this. Um, I could cut it a little nicer on the side, I guess. Maybe. The size is a little awkward. Six inches tall, two and a half inches wide. It's almost like a bookmark. Okay, we'll work with that for now. Still have this. What I was thinking was with the embossing powder and glue. I mean, you could draw this beforehand with a pencil if you wanted. I just thought it would be neat if we drew something. Like that. And then for this one, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do gold. This could be messy because it's got the ridges in there. But I wanted to try it, so that's what I'm doing. I need my cardboard to protect my healing mat. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, well, that didn't really work out the way I was hoping. Too much glue. It worked where there was just thin lines. I like the stem, but. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time, because why not? Of course I don't remember where my smaller nozzle is. Maybe I need to start on something smaller. Something smaller so that I can use a smaller stream of glue. How about that? Okay, I'm going to go for it. Probably too clumpy also. That's one way to get it <laughs> to get it on there.
anything could happen. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. I'll be back. It's done, but... Okay, so there's my first attempt at a Christmas card, I guess. Um, not totally loving it. But my idea is still in play here. Let me... So I was thinking I could put that on there and then I still like this idea, not over here where it blistered, but down the center where there's this thin stream. So. Let me see if I can duplicate that and then make like a border. Oops, I wrecked my border. didn't work so good either. Alright, got nothing to lose here, so... started to do something but I didn't get it in enough spots I don't think so um anyways that might work I mean I mean I tried something and that's too small but if I might want to make a card out of that I think it has a certain rustic look to it. Under the right circumstances, I think that could still work, but it's not, it's not my favorite thing. I mean, yes, I could continue to work with this. Okay, that might not work either. I didn't measure extremely carefully. Trim this down a bit. Okay. 
It might look better on a larger piece of card, but... You could put something else on there to make it more... I still like the dark one. Okay, I didn't like it at first, but I decided to keep working on it, and I'm fast forwarding this because someone was using the shower and I didn't want everybody to hear all the running water. So um, just in the way of what I did was I put some of this gold mesh that has glitter in it. It's very messy, but... I wanted a little more glitter on it. Then I got out my chromium marker. I wrote Merry Christmas on it, but it wasn't shiny enough for my liking, so I just went over it with a black pen. Um, then I found out that I had forgotten to activate my marker because I hadn't used it in a while. So I had to push it down and get the more of the gold to come out. So then, I thought the leaves and that could be a little shinier as well, so I went over everything with the chromium marker. And now, I love it. I think it's a great start to a Christmas card. Um, well, it'll be my first Christmas card, I guess. Or did I say that last time already? This is my first Christmas card this year, and I will actually give it out. Um, I think it looks a, still a bit rustic because of the cardboard, and because the gold isn't shiny everywhere and it's kind of uneven, it has kind of a tarnished look, so it looks a little bit, um, not exactly vintage I would say, but older, not so not so shiny brand new but you can tell that it's supposed to be gold so yeah I'm very happy with that and uh, I hope you enjoyed that and maybe give it a go tell me some of the things you had success with using embossing powder I would love to know all right thanks for joining me today and we'll see you again next time bye for now